Hey guys, so I actually really have to go to class. I am running a little tight on time, but I really wanted to film this really quickly. Um, it's just my January 2013 Trash and Treasures, so I'm going to jump right in. Um, I'm going to start with the trash, as always. For trash, I have a few things, actually. So, first, I have this um, sample that I got in my birch box this month, and it's the My Prime Multi-Purpose Mattifying Moisturizer. And it looks like this, and I was actually excited to try this because my skin has been really oily lately for some reason so and it says mattifying it is not mattifying it actually makes me oilier if that's a word more oily and I have just been not happy with this because at first I was like maybe I'm just having an extra oily day but usually my skin isn't oily I don't know what's been going on but I tried it out and you know I was like maybe it's just today I kept trying it and every time I used this my face was shiny and greasy by the end of the day and I or actually not even the whole day it was just a few hours into the day and I was already feeling oily I don't know why but I don't recommend this if you have oily skin or even if no I don't recommend this at all because I don't have oily skin the next thing is actually I don't have a lot on my trash today but um it's these Vince Vincent Longo eyeshadow trios that I got for Christmas and I have three of them they're just really chalky and not very pigmented um the color payoff isn't good the stay isn't good I just don't like them um, and then I have this um, one of the samples from the benefit the their skincare line this is the triple moisture er, the moisturize triple performing um, sheer oil free facial lotion the one with SPS <laughs> oh my gosh I'm just losing my mind um, the one with SPF 15 and this is just you know the daily moisturizer daytime with sunscreen in it and I just didn't like this it gives kind of a white cast on my face and also it's too thin for me I don't know because my face is dry except <laughs> apparently this oh my gosh this makes it oily but that's all for my um, trash of the month but tr like just kind of transitioning over with this. I also got two other samples along with that, the two other ones from their skincare line, and I absolutely love these. One is the Hydra Concentrated Facial Cream, and I use this at night. It's really thick and very moisturizing. And the other is the It's Potent Brightening Eye Cream to Fade Dark Circles, and I just really like how thick in consistency these are, and it just is very hydrating. I really like it. And um, actually, I have like... A product that I want to do a mini review on because I'm not gonna mention this again but I tried out this month the Maybelline Clean Express the new makeup removing wipes and they look like this and they also have a makeup remover with you know one that's like for sensitive skin or something but I just decided to try the makeup wipes because I needed new ones so I went to Walmart and I saw the whole display and I was like you know I'll just try it because I was gonna I usually get the um, the elf which I like and I, I'll try different brands but for this all I can say about it I've used it a few nights this week it's just like any other makeup wipe I've used it's nothing special so it's not really a treasure but it's not a trash like it doesn't suck or anything um, I mean it gets the job done except obviously my mascara nothing gets that off but um let's just move on to the treasures so first I have or let's stay with skincare I guess um, the Jergens Deep Conditioning Oatmeal um, Body Butter that I got at Walmart as well. I showed in my last haul video, and this is really, really thick and moisturizing, so I really like that after I shower or just, you know, at night before I go to bed. And um, so moving on, I have, let's do these first. Um, I have two fragrances that I've really been just reaching toward this month, and I'm never usually a fragrance person. Like, before, I never used to be, you know oh, let's, let's put something on. I just walk out the door, and I'd be like, oh, crap, I should have sprayed something. But um, this month, I have been loving these two. One is the Bath & Body Works Paris in Bloom, but it's the Eiffel Tower with the shimmer in it, and I've just been really loving this when I go out. Um, I'll spray it, you know, on my chest, on my arms, whatever. It's just really nice, and it smells really, really good. And then the other for every day, I s noticed that I've just been reaching for this basically every day this month. Um, it's the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction, and this is my favorite of the Victoria's Secret fragrances. And it says it's the Red Plum and Fresh, Freshia? That's the kind of scent that it has. It's very, 
I don't know. I just, it's, it's like a berry scent. I really like it. So moving on into makeup. First I have a rediscovery. Um, this is an old timer actually. I used to love this. It's the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Honey Dipped. And this was probably in one of my first birch boxes. And I just, it's a, it's a good oldie. Um, I've just been using that every day. And because I think, okay, my, well, all my bronzers broke and like, they're all finished, so I just started using this, and at first I was like, I can't use this to contour, it's too shimmery or whatever, but it just, it works really well. And then, um, sorry, I have, let's do, okay, um, a nail polish that I really, really liked this month. I got this a few birch boxes ago, but I didn't really try it out until this month, and I fell in love with it. It's the Color Club in Tweet Me, and when I first looked at this, I thought it was going to be kind of mustardy and like, very dull on the nails but this is a neon lime chartreuse green i am in love with this and in different lighting it looks different but i really like it it's really fun and then i have um i've been really loving from my carried away from tarte this eyeshadow palette and it looks like that and i've been filming a few tutorials with this actually so those should be up soon but the color payoff from this is really really nice and the color the colors um that they offer is just a good variation there's a lot of color a lot of neutrals i just really really like this so i've been reaching for this a lot and then the last thing for my favorites video is um this new lipstick that i'm trying out from the new drew barrymore line it's called flower and this shade is in so gladiola and it's just a really really pretty peachy coral color and i've just been reaching for this a lot this month um i'm also trying a few other of her lip products that uh, I'm actually wearing another one of them right now and it's the bot the the lip butter in wispy wisteria and I mean I like it so far so we're still playing with it but I really have to go to class now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your favorites of the month are or leave it as a video response below and I will talk to you guys very soon and have a great day bye